that shit crack. What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's with Breezy. Everything easy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're back with another video. So, we're going to go straight into this video. It is titled Accra Ghana Tourist Guide of What to Know Before Coming. You know, I'm doing a lot of these videos, so I know what to expect, what to know, what to do when I get there, all that stuff. So, I'm going to be doing a lot of those videos, you know what I'm saying, until I get to Ghana. So, without further ado, Let's get straight into it. If you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe. You already know what to do with the Flyers Gang on YouTube. And I'm just gonna get um, This is gonna be a brief video, and I'll have a big in depth video a little bit later on. But this video is gonna tell you everything that you wanna know about Ghana in about five to seven minutes. And so we have, I'm gonna talk about accommodation, <laughs> the food, the nightlife, the visa, um, some of the inside things, you know, where you wanna get your hair cut, ladies, if you wanna get the pedicure and manicures, you wanna get outfits made, all of that is coming up in this video. <laughs> That's crazy. That shit looks beautiful. What? Nah, that shit is nice, man. That is nice. That is nice. What am I staying in a place like that? But um, that place is also super fresh. And then another week, we spent a couple weeks in Ghana. We stayed um, in an Airbnb. So Airbnb has quite a few options. And then pound for pound, that was probably the best value that I had for the money. We had like a three-bedroom unit. Three-bedroom unit? For 175 a night? That is amazing. Wow. So basically at three people we split that in three? That's nothing, bro. That's cheap. Wow. And that was like $175 a night in a super nice area called Ridge. So you can see the Airbnb Ridge. here. And then there's all different options, right? You can probably find a decent spot. I'm not talking about December now. December like prices are like tripled. And I'll talk <laughs> about December a little bit later on towards the end of this video. But I'm just talking about going any time of year. You can probably find a decent Airbnb for about 40 bucks a night, you know, and then they go all the way up to, you know, something like three, four hundred dollars a night for your know, craziest spots. So let's talk about transportation. So Uber is a plug out there, super easy to get around. You know, just have your phone ready and just like anywhere else in the world, you know, you order your Uber. My only gripe with Uber is they don't have any bigger cars. They're all pretty much small Toyota Corolla, you know, type of cars at the time of recording. So Uber, I hope you, you know, step that game up and have some more options available. Or you can get a private driver, right? So there's, um, you know, private drivers that you can drive you around for the day. And I want to talk to you about visas because this is actually a little bit different when traveling to other places. I was actually in the president's office and they said, you know, they're working on putting this online and making it an easier process. So shout out to Nadia. You know, we, we talked about, you know, the changes that they're making. But now, as far as now, what you need to do is you need to apply. And what I'm going to do, like I said, I have an ultimate Ghana guide that you're going to be able to access. So I said the link's going to be in the description of this video and you're going to be able to know everything that you need to do, especially if you need a visa rush. You know, I'll have all that information. But you need a yellow fever shot. But you can't enter the country without having these two things, a visa. So if you're coming from the Western world, you know, you have a Western passport, 
this is something that you need. But if you have like a Nigerian or a Ghanaian passport, or you know, a West African passport, you don't need a visa, but you also still do need a yellow fever shot. And then on arrival, shout out to Ghana, one of the flyest, cleanest airports I've <laughs> ever seen in my life. It is truly a world-class airport. And I can't even say I was expecting an airport that fly, so shout out to Ghana. All right, it is pretty clean. Amazing job. And then talking about things to do, man, big up to my Waves crew. My trip would not be the same without them. They Waves. introduced me to everyone that I needed to know. And now I can go ahead and share with y'all everything that you need to do when you come to Ghana. And so I'm just so grateful. What food is that? Let's see what they're eating real quick. My entire way through. We have Opal. Hold up. I want to see the food. On the airport. An amazing job. And then talking about things to do. Man, big up to my Waves crew. My trip would not be the same without them. They introduced me to everyone that I needed to know. And now I can go ahead and share with y'all everything that you need to do when you come to Ghana. And okay, they got the plantains, they got the rice, they got, what is that, chicken? Looks pretty good, man. I don't know what that is, though, on another plate, another bowl. I don't know what that is. It's like corn. So I'm just so grateful. Shout out to my entire way through. We have Opal, <laughs> Miss St. John, Pops. Yo, I appreciate y'all to the fullest. And so, things to do. If you want to get fly, get want to get your hair done, there's a spot called Hair Rack. So you got women's salon downstairs, you can get your hair done. And then upstairs, you have a male spot where you can get, literally they've got like uh, like all the drinks on top. So it's just like a fly gentleman spot. It's more of like That's an upper nice. class place nice. where people get their hair done. Also, I got something to shop too. Um, I was just rolling around looking for a local spot. I went to like a local shop, you know, and his prices are super good. I think I paid like three, four dollars for a haircut. So depending on the vibe that you want, and local dude spot is in Osu, really good area. So, you know, don't fret on that. So ladies, when you come into Ghana, you might want to get your petty, your maddie. Polish is the spot to be. I was like, yo, I like to get my maddie, my petty every now and then. And this place just makes you feel like royalty. You know, you sip in champagne, you know, the chair, you feel like royalty sitting in these chairs. <laughs> Service is off the chain, location is great. Shout out to Polish, man, they really took care of the boy. There's a reason that I never hit my fitness goals. Cupcake Boutique, man. <laughs> um, they heard I was coming to town, so they invited us over. And when I got there, I was like, this is hospitality. They literally had cupcakes with our name on it. And I'd give them a shout out, even if they didn't have my name on a cupcake, because this place was just fly, fly, fly. And so, like, literally, every celeb that comes into town, this is where they stop in to get the Nah, that shit looks pretty good. Like, it actually looks like it's moist. It tastes good, you know what I'm saying? Some places, it'd be like mad dry and shit. The, the icing be like... Trash, all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? That cookies, you know, some juice and some cupcakes, man. I'm telling you, you can just see by the visuals, this place is special. And ladies, if there's something I know about you, I don't want to judge, but the majority of you love to shop. And so when you're talking about the most luxurious shop in Ghana, all the celebs stop there, internationally local, Kua is that spot. Kua. And so they've got some of the flyest handbags. And so I had a couple girls hit me up like, oh my God, can you bring me back a bag from Kua? I saw, ooh, ooh, you know, wearing the bag. Mm. And so I stopped by the store and, you know, the place was phenomenal. Now, fellas. I might have to buy some bags, you know what I'm saying? And resell them when I get back, you know what I'm saying? Put them on eBay, see how they do and stuff like that. But, um... Yeah, man, so far I'm loving the video. The video, man, is dope. Like this video, man. Comment, whatever you want to comment, and don't um, let's keep going. If you want to get fresh, if you want to get a traditional outfit made yep. in Ghana, there's only two places that you want to go. There's my guy, Chocolate. Hey, yo, when Chocolate. celebrities come to town, it does not matter if it's the CEO of Twitter, you're talking about Idris Alba, Steve Harvey, you're talking about literally anyone. They come to town, they go see Chocolate. Literally, it, it's like... It's a sin if you mm -hmm. don't. But now, his clothing are also like the Rolls Royce of clothing. And, you know, his prices started about $450. But the way, he, like, I got an outfit made, he came. That's a little pricey for my, for my, for my, uh, 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 for my flavor, you know what I'm saying? That's, you only get one, like, outfit for 400 cash? Damn. That's a lot. But let me see what I can do. Hopefully I go out there too. He saw me and uh, measured me. And a lot of times he can do it without even measuring you. He is just like one of these geniuses when it comes to design. 
And then based on your personality, he'll whip you something up. I got mine, I was like, yo! <laughs> this is fly, I was getting compliments mm. on my piece from everyone. So, most people don't got a budget though, like his piece start at 450 a piece, but I say, yo, it's one of those things that you gotta get one of them. And all of his pieces that are made to are one of one. It's crazy. Oh, okay, literally that's got fire. A thousand different pieces of fabric in his place. A hundred thousand. And so, just pure genius when it comes to that. Now, the second guy is my guy, Alex. So, for me, I got $500 a day budget to be rocking out throughout the whole trip. And so, this is more like your 5 Series Beamer, right? Or your class <laughs> van. It's like, it's a nice joint. You can't go wrong with it. And so, this is like what Alex has. And then his joint start like 125 And literally, See? he'll make you, you tell him. I need something like what he's rocking. I need something like, it's like that. It's a nice joint you can't go wrong with it and so this is like what alex has and then his joint start like 125 and little i need something like this you know what i'm saying like a full outfit type thing which is you know what i'm saying not too expensive but you know a good price he'll make you you tell him what you want you tell him the fabrics that you want he'll come to your spot and measure you or if it's not him you know one of his people will come and measure you and you and if you tell him like an exact look if you want you know he'll go ahead and make that or if you have like a custom joint you know he'll go ahead and make that happen so shout out to alex you'll see all the fits that i got from him i got a few different fits and then you know this is pretty much what i was wearing <laughs> man there's nothing regular about ghana so why fit in when you could be custom baby <laughs> now you can't come to Ghana without eating right. Now let me know in the comments. Ghana jello, but Naja jello. You know it's a Naja thing here, yeah, no. Uh, but yo, you can't come to Ghana without eating. And there were so many different options. And so I'm just gonna go. Man, that's one thing I gotta try. The first thing gotta be the jollof rice. I know that Nigerians and the Ghanaians be beefing with when it comes to the jollof rice, man. So comment below which jollof rice y'all be eating, man. Let's get it. Go through a few of them with you right now. Now there was one culinary experience that really stood out from the rest, and that was from Binta. So she literally travels all over Chef the world. Binta. Um, sharing um, her local food and so like one week she's in Germany another week she, you know she could be in South Africa she could be in America and so if you're lucky to be in town when she's around I highly recommend it and my people over at Tastemakers helped set up this whole experience so shout out to my Tastemakers now I know in Ghana is one of the top places in the world when it comes to nightlife so I want to just share a few of my favorite places with you so now if you want to get outside the hustle and bustle Skybar. for a little bit one of my favorite places about an hour and a half outside of Aqua Accra Safari. is in Ada is Aqua Safari Line this Aqua place Safari. is fly 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 they got the jet skis they got the now that shit looks dope man now that looks like a resort I, I would like to stay at, you know what I'm saying, once I visit. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, you know what I'm saying, got the water slides, the pool, all that stuff. So we're going to see, man. Let's see where I stay at. They got a nice resort, and it's just pure relaxation vibes. And um, I was actually out I mean. there with my homies from the Toaster Life, so they were in town as well. So we just had the most amazing time, you know, sunset all around, drinks are flowing. And I can't tell you how amazing that spot is. And there's a little secret location as well. This cigar lounge is about 15 minutes away, and you would think you're in the most exclusive elite speakeasy when you talk about the most mm -hmm. elite whiskeys and cigars. And so this guy that grew up in England was like, I just want to create an oasis away from everyone. And like, I just yeah. could never imagine this place in Ghana. I was like, what is this place? It's about 15 minutes um, away from there. So I'm not even gonna say much. Just mm. soon as you walk in, walk in, yeah. people then fall in, fall in, yeah. And then one of the coolest things that we did is just actually get to know the people. And so people always have a perception of how Africa is in general or how yep. Ghana is. And so I just wanted to show you how I live when I go to Ghana or I go to these other places because there's always two sides to a story. 
And people yeah. always just want to show you, hey, a safari, um, always just saving the kid. And that's not to say that there's not issues within Ghana. And that's not the only story, right? So a lot of times we just hang out having dinner parties. Like we went over to my homegirl Ruby's house, hey. and it was just amazing. Like just beautiful vibe, beautiful people, eating traditional Ghanaian dishes. She's trying to tell me that the Ghanaian jello was better, but okay. Um, <laughs> but I'm just telling you, there's so many different sides. And like one of the things I love doing is just educating people to show them. And most people are like, oh my God, I put it on my Instagram. So it's like, yo, people are living like this. I was like, yo, yes. <laughs> another th I don't know why they be thinking that they don't be living this way, man. Like, they acting like media, man. The media be messing everything up. People don't know how diverse the art scene is. The art scene is crazy and well respected around the world. And then, so my brother, man, that I ran into in Ghana, I got introduced to him um, through Opal, uh, is one of the greatest artists in the world. We went to his place and actually he uses recycled goods throughout Ghana. And when I say his work is respected, He's got a piece in the Vatican. Wow. Right, literally, like the weight, 600 pounds, that is in the office there on Hackaway in Silicon Valley. When we're in the Kempinski taking a picture, like he's got this huge piece behind him. Like the art scene out there is crazy, and they have so many amazing artists, you know, within Ghana. You know, I was in Ghana for two weeks, and so this is not all I'm going to share with you. And I have so many more in depth stories, right? So I told you I got my sister, Miss St. John. And then, you know, Pops, you know, he did a whole basketball camp um, in Ghana for the kids. Wow, I think that's he was respect. expecting like 150, then like 300 showed up. Um, you know, he was the second Ghanaian NBA player ever in the NBA. And then Opal, you know, co founder of Black Lives Matters, was out there. And we just had such an amazing time. And I didn't know she was a co founder of Black Lives Matter. Wow, that's dope. And my, my new brother that I met there, Mr. Mano, John, you know, got to go to his husband's house, Richard, and then he was just sharing, you know, the vision of what so many people have for this new Ghana with, you know, new medical facilities, new, just so many things where so many people are moving back because they see the opportunity, and I saw it myself. And just also, like, the roots, the culture, where you're in a place and you're like, wow, I'm not even a minority here. I just feel like a normal person. And the energy, like, <laughs> like I'm not, like, I got near people that are so <laughs> calm and the spirits are so beautiful. The culture is so rich. And so in the full episode, you know, I'm going to dive into, you know, these individual stories and, you know, what they have to share and what we did on the ground. And then also... Let me ask you a question, man. Like, what? How many days do I need to to be out there to really experience? You know, what I'm saying like everything a Ghana has to to, to 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 get. You know, what I'm saying like or has to show. So like, I'm not sure if I should be there for a week, two weeks. You know, what I'm saying. Let me know, comment below, and um, and I'll figure it out. You know, what I'm saying. So let's continue. We went outside of Accra um, to some of the most beautiful places in Ghana, and I'll be sharing those with you. So. Sorry for the long video, but yeah, man, I'm just doing a lot of research, you know what I'm saying? So, minds to bring you guys on this journey with me, understanding and getting more info before I travel, you know, stuff like that. So, if you're new to the channel, like, comment, um, subscribe. If you like it, let's get to 100 likes in this video. And, um, yeah, man, just with breathe everything easy, sir, sir. Paving this city, crap.